They made one video which shows you how to felt and batten with all the measurements included in that. This video is going to show you how to mark out your roof, how to mark out the centre of your battens so that your slate is in the correct position and how to mark out your perpens up the roof so that it keeps the joints of the slates straight. We're also going to show you how to grade your slates into thick, medium and thin so that once they're laying on the roof they should lay down flat. And we'll show you how to measure, mark and cut an eave slate so that it's the correct length. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to mark the centre of your battens accurately because when a slate goes on a roof, all the measurements that you've done are so that the slate sits halfway onto the batten like that. Without a line, you can get right the way down there. You can get right the way up there and anywhere in the middle. So to put a line on a roof is good. This is just two bits of batten. One is longer than the other one. That is because if you, if you need to go over something like a hip or a valley, that will go over without bumping into anything. It's very, very simple. You just join two pieces of batten together. So what I'm going to do now is mark this across in the centre of the batten. Got my pencil. That goes on there. I just slide this across. And that will mark it all the way across. It's a simple little job. That will keep them straight. If you want to, what you can do is just mark that on this side all the way up to the top. Mark it on the other side and then string a chalk line through. I've just showing you how to mark the centre of your battens to keep your top of your slate in the correct place. I'm now going to show you how to do the perpens. I'll show you in the simplest way possible. I've got two pieces of batten and all they're going to do is help me to put the slates on the roof without falling down the roof. Now these are going to go onto here. The bottom one goes like that. The top one goes there. This is the one I'm going to mark my slate places on. Okay, so that needs to be flush with the end. I'm now going to get my slates. I'm going to put my slates here. They're going to sit square onto that one. That one stops them flying down the roof. This one here, I want it flush, the slate flush with the end. Then I'll put my slates on across the roof. I want roughly a three mil gap in between down here. So I've laid my slates out across the roof. What I'm going to do now is mark where the left hand edge of each slate is with the pencil. So I come across here. I'm going to mark it on my loose batten here because that is the one I want to use around the roof to mark the roof out. So mark the left, the left hand side of it, take that one off. Because this is an instructional video, I'm doing every slate so that that will give the end user the most control over where these slates go. So what I'm going to fit now is a slate and a half on the end. So on the end here, it goes from full width slate eave, then a slate and a half, then a slate, then a slate and a half. That gives you the broken bond. So each course is a different bond. That's why I start off with a slate and a half. That will go onto there like that, to the end of the batten as the slate did just now. Then I will put the slates on with a three mil gap in between all the way across here. When I get to the other end, I will mark the slate off, take a slate off, mark it, mark it, mark it. Till we get across to the slate and a half, I'll mark that. So I've got my two sets of marks on my marking stick. All I need to do to this now is just move it up and on the bottom of it, put an arrow. What I do on the end here because there's a bit of batten left over. 
scribble that out so that I don't start from the right end. And the reason for putting the arrows there is because when I put the batten onto the actual roof batten, I know which way up it's got to be. What I'm gonna do now is mark this out on the bottom batten. I need a 50 mil overhang on this verge. So if I put my tape in there like that, put the end of the batten to the 50 mil, that's in the position I need it to be in now. These marks I've got here, I'm gonna mark onto this fixed batten here. Every mark goes onto the eave batten. Mark the bottom, so now I'm gonna take the marking stick the loose one up to the top of the roof and mark the same marks on there. It's that one there. And then I mark the marks from the marking stick all the way across the batten. So that's my marks on the bottom and on the top. All I need to do now is get my chalk line and my assistant and we'll mark the perpens down through the roof. That then gives me my marks across the batten for the head of my slate, and also down for the size of the slate. Okay, so what I'm gonna try and show you now is how to grade your slates into thick, medium, and thin. When you grade your slates into those sections, the thick go on the bottom, medium go in the middle, thins go on the top. That way you have a chance of them going down without getting what we call kickers. So a thick slate beside a thin slate is a kicker. I've got this little selection here, which will show you a thick, medium and thin slate. That I would say is a thick, that I would say is a medium, and that I would say is a thin. It's still not easy to tell because um, it is subjective. Even after grading the slates, you can still get a rogue slate in there, which will kick it up. Because of that, you need to be watching what you're slating as you're slating. If you see one that's being, gonna be a kicker, take it out, do it again. The roof's gonna stay up there for about 70 or 80 years. You want it to look good for the whole of the duration of that. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is to show you how to accurately cut your eave. Easiest way to do it. If you get your slate, turn it upside down so you're holding it from there. Put your hole in the bottom of the slate. I put my slate now onto the central line that I marked on earlier. Put your first full slate on again up to the line here. So now I've marked my eave, what I have to do is cut it. So the top button is to take the head of this eave. I then mark my hole onto the second batten. That way it gives me good fixing. I've hold the slate now, I've hold it from the back so that when it goes down, when the nail goes in, the nail sits down flat and it doesn't kick the slate above it, upwards. You can put the slate eave down like that with the ribbon edge up. You can just as easily flip it over and put the eave like that with the flat side up. It doesn't make any difference at all, whichever is your preference. The only difference is if you do it with the flat side up, then you would hole it from the back so that the countersink is on the top. 
but it makes no difference at all. Whichever is your preference is fine. What I've done now, I've measured my eave, I've marked my eave, I've cut it, I've holed it. That's my pattern now. So I would go like that with it. So that shows that it's the pattern. I don't want to use it. What I want to do now is check it. I want to check that it fits there. Okay, and when it's there, that edge should be there. So I want to check that across here. That's in the right place. Check it again. In the right place. You would check this all the way around your roof. Once you know that that eave fits all the way around your roof, you then count up how many eaves you need all the way around your roof. And you use this as a pattern to mark, if you want 40, you mark 40, you cut 40, you hold 40, you have 40 to use. Okay, so we've now finished the end of video two. And in that one, I've shown you how to mark the center of your patterns for the top of your slate. I've shown you how to put the perps or the perp ends onto the roof to keep your slates in line going up the roof. I've shown you grading the slates into thick, medium and thin. And I've shown you measuring, marking, cutting and holding the eave, counting up how many eaves you need and producing the number that is required. You're now ready to go with that into the next section, which is when we will start to lay the eaves and to lay the slates. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you take a lot away from it. Thank you.